everybody, it's your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are here for the episode review of the sixth and final season of Power. This is season six, episode one, Murderers. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down, and then hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all hear the silence out here? I stay in the hood. Y'all pray for your auntie. Before we get into the review, I also want to remind you guys about the shirt that I am wearing. Let me show you. Let me model her. Look at all this beautiful black girl magic right here, okay? I done named her. Her name is Sister Girl, okay? If you like Sister Girl and you want to get this shirt, you want to get more shirts like this, this is by Purposefully Crafty. I will put her information down in the description box below. She makes shirts like these, many, many other shirts. I love her product, all of that. She's a classmate of mine, Purposefully Crafty by Jamila Dawson. I will again leave her information down in the description box below. Um, Y'all, this episode of Power was very good. Y'all gonna have to forgive me because it's a little hot up in here. I'm see the nod, this is my second glass of wine, y'all. Now look, I know I'm late with the review, okay, because it comes on, what was that, it came out Saturday at, at midnight or early Sunday or whatever, I went on ahead and got the app because I was like, look here, ain't no way I'm going to be able to try to keep up with these doggone reviews because y'all know it be a lot going on in these doggone power reviews. I just power the episodes, period. It be a lot going on. But I got my notes together. I hope y'all are ready for this season. I hope y'all are ready for this review because this is one of my favorite shows. So, you know, Auntie going to give it to you. I hope y'all are ready for the review. So, let's get right on up into it, y'all. First of all, Fitty. What we doing with the intro song? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I would be lying if I said that that song was trash. Because it's not. That song jam. Trey song. <laughs> Trey songs jams. He does. But you know what? I'm a creature of habit, and I don't like change. And so when you change the song up, I'm like, look, I was wrecked. I was wrecked. When I was like, oh, it's on the app. I ain't got to wait till, oh, I'm finna watch this mofo right now. I put it on. The melody started up. So what the hell is this? This ain't no goddamn Joe. What the hell is going on? But you know what? The song still jam. I ain't mad at you. Trey songs. Oh yeah, you did your thing. I ain't even mad at you, boo. All right, y'all, so let me get y'all caught up from the last um, episode of the last season. So, you know, um, Ghost and Angela were at their old high school talking or whatever, right? Because Ghost got word that Angela was going to be the witness, the female witness that was going to testify against him. So he was there to ask her, like, you know what? What's up? What's good? What's hood? You know, is you really going to be testifying on me? At the same time, Tommy had figured it out that Ghost tricked him into killing Teresi, which was his dad. Because, you know, Teresi was going to testify on Ghost's ass. But Ghost tricked him into making it seem like Teresi was going to turn his ass in. And he ended up killing him. Mm-hmm. Well, now we at today. So, she being rushed to the hospital. Because, you know, like I said, they was at the school. Tommy shot her ass. Ghost looked up. Motherfucker, no, you didn't. He's like, yes. Bitch, I did. So they they rushing up to the hospital. Ghost is right there by her side. Baby, please, oh no, baby, baby, please, Angela, I'm right here with you. She just looking at him like, oh. It was so damn sad. So he tried to go back there with her. She being rushed into emergency surgery. Doctor, like, is you family? He like, well, no, nah, not exactly. I said, well, no, nah, not exactly. Can't take your ass back there, sir. You gonna have to wait in the lobby with the rest of everybody else. In the meantime, Tommy calling. Uh, Keisha, she like, Tommy, did you do it? She must have got, I don't know, she turned on the news, seen on Twitter or whatnot, but they got word, or she got word that Angela got shot. So she asking, Tommy, nigga, did you do this? Tommy like, look here, I can't talk about this right now, but I'm gonna need you to stay close to the phone. Hold on, because I'm gonna call you in a minute. So Ghost is sitting around, he waiting to get some words to hear about what's going on with Angela. In the meantime, the detectives got him. They questioning him. So what were you doing at the school? Did you see the shooter? Do you know who shot her? What was y'all doing there? What was you trying to find out? He let him know, like, look, I didn't shoot her. Uh, I don't know what happened. She was trying to save me. She seen the shooter. She pushed me out the way. She got shot. And the female detective was like, well, you bigger than her. Wouldn't you have gotten shot too? That don't make no damn sense. Uh, Ghost is like, look here. I need to go. My baby up in there. She, she, Lord, I got to go, Lord. I can't stay here and ask all these damn questions. I'm like, all right. 
Don't go too damn far though. We gonna let your ass make for the time being. Meanwhile, Tommy ends up meeting up with Tasha. They in some some little, like on a rooftop or something, whatever, talking, right? He tells Tasha, look here, I shot Angela. I think I killed her. I shot her right in the chest. Ain't no reason why she shouldn't be dead. She like, well, did you check her pulse? Did you make sure the bitch was dead? He was like, hell no, I have to get the hell on up out of there. Go see me. She like, oh, you took a shot at the devil and you missed? And she like, look here, I didn't give you the okay to go on Angela. And we damn sure didn't talk about killing ghosts. So what the hell is going on? And then I still can't find Terry Silver. I'm trying to call this nigga. He didn't answer his phone. Like, what the hell is really going on? So he like, look here, what you mean? Give me permission. I don't need your permission to do any doggone thing. That fool ghost tricked me into killing my damn daddy. You think I ain't finna come back and try to get some kind of revenge on him? Hell no. He like, look here. I don't want to put your family through nothing else. I understand Yaz and Tariq done been through enough, but look here. I understand if you gotta make a move on me, but this the moves I'm making right now. Tommy on some old gangster shit. He don't care. Just when he was getting to know his daddy, his daddy was finna drop a dime on Ghost. He wasn't finna drop a dime on Tommy. Tommy ain't finna let that shit ride. So Ghost is out there in the lobby pacing back and forth, reminiscing on times and him and Angela when they back got back together and the times that they had all together said and the other. He's sitting there just reminiscing, pacing back and forth. Lord, what the hell going on? No, baby, Lord, Lord. Next thing you know, uh, Paz, I think that's how you say it, Paz, a later from Orange is the New Black. Um, Angela's sister, she end up coming out the back. You murderer, you killed my sister. She just collapsed and goes arms. And I'm like, did that bitch just really say what I think she said? Lord, I didn't believe it until the detective said Angela was pronounced dead on an operating table due to a gunshot wound to the chest. Tommy really did kill this bitch, y'all. Ghost outside in the, in, the, in the parking lot of the hospital, pacing like a crazy person. He like, oh, this motherfucker no fucked up now. He finna come out the time he asked. He got that old crazy ass look in his eye. Like, was, I was kind of like twitching. He was like, oh, I'm finna go get this nigga. So y'all, the three investigators are talking. Uh, Jerry, Sax, and Tamika. They all talking about like what happened. Like, cause they were supposed to have kept a trail on Angela. Cause again, last episode of the last season, they had all popped it on Angela. Was like, look here, we know that you involved with ghosts and he's and his murders and all this other bullshit that he in. You got so much known, and you need to let us know what's going on with ghosts. Everything that you know, try to salvage the little bit of life that you got left, or you going to prison too. So they gave her 24. She asked for 24 hours hours to you know think about what she had to do so it was supposed to have been somebody trailing her the whole time they messed up they was like well she slipped and she got away yada 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 tamika like look it don't matter it's on all three of our ass that she slipped she got away and now she got killed we need to find out what the hell happened sax was like well, we already know what the hell happened James St. Patrick is the one that killed her. And she's like, you have no proof and you have no evidence. He like, oh no, hell no, I'm finna get proof. I'm finna, watch. So Sax ends up going to the hospital. He's over there, you know, looking over Angela's body or whatever, right? Her sister is already there. Now, he walks in, he was like, hi, how you doing? I used to work with Angela, my name is Sax. And he was like, yeah, well, um, Aleda, her sister, was like, yeah, I know who the hell you are. I remember she told me you was an asshole. Like, what the hell you want? What you doing up in here? Basically, he's like, look here, if you want James St. Patrick to go down for the murder of your sister, you gonna have to sign off on this autopsy. Cause she was like, at first when he said something about an autopsy, she was like, you don't need to cut on my so somebody to know who the hell that damn did it. He out there in the lobby crying like a little girl right now. Go get him and go take his ass to jail. He like, look here, I would love to do that, but I don't have enough evidence. If you don't sign off on this autopsy, then guess what? If her killer walks free, that shit gonna be on you. He did that Jedi mind trick on her ass because she had to sit and think about it like, oh, what? Y'all, so Tommy goes and he meets up with Keisha. She's standing on a block in the middle of the damn night looking crazy as hell. He come driving up like a crazy person. He's like, look here, here, I need you to take this. I need you to get rid of this. He gives her the gun. She like, Tommy, what the hell is going on? He like, look, we can't talk about that right now, but I need you to go get rid of this gun. Can you do this for me? She like, nigga, I guess. Then Tommy goes to the house, right? He goes home. He creeping up in the house because he knows some shit finna pop off. Lo and behold, here come ghosts. Bam! Beat the hell out. They, these fools sitting up here beating the hell out of each other. Tommy mad at him. You tricked me into killing my daddy. Ghost mad at Tommy. You killed a woman I love. Next thing you know, they sitting here beating the hell out of each other. 
out comes Tyreek. Tyreek like, what the hell is y'all doing? Why y'all fighting? Both of them like, nigga, what is you doing here? You supposed to be in school. He like, man, how would you go? Now, Tyreek, this nigga nuts done drop. Because he done got real disrespectful and loose with that mouth of his. Like, he going all talking to Tommy sideways. Now, any other pants in real life, they done knocked the hell out of him. Trust me, I know. They done knocked the hell out of him. But they didn't. He was like, I need to talk to uh, Uncle Tommy for a minute. Ghost is like, he ain't your uncle no more. He was like, well, too bad you don't get to decide that. Like, nigga, what? You was feeling yourself, ain't you? So Ghost is like, all right, you got 10 minutes. So he walks out of the room. Tyreek tells Tommy, I need to do something, but I need you to go with me. Tommy like, all right, I got something to do later. I'm going to hook up with you later. Like, this nigga Tyreek, he fit. He's smelling them nuts. He feeling himself. So Proctor at the Starbucks trying to live his best damn life. Here comes Sax. He done popped up in here, start questioning him as to why the hell did Ghost kill Angela. He like, look here, man. My client didn't have nothing to do with, well, like, what the hell is you talking about? Then he tries to accuse Proctor of telling Ghost that Angela was the witness on purpose so that Ghost would go back and kill Angela. But he lets Proctor know, just so that you know, there's still another female witness that's out there. It wasn't Angela. Now he says he tells him that, this is what um, Sax later on we find out, Sax tells him that because he's trying to set a bait or whatever, right? So Sax gets back to the office. We see Tamika walking out with a box and all her stuff. He like, what the hell going on? She like, what the hell you think going on? The Department of Justice needed a scapegoat for all of this crap that's going on. And on top of that, Angela being murdered. So who the hell you think they was going to get rid of? Me. She ended up getting fired. I'm like, whoa, why they got to find a black chick for us fucked up? So Sax ends up going in and meeting with the new... I I don't know if he's the DA. Drop down in the comments if you know exactly what his role is because I don't know and I don't want to get it wrong. But he meets with whoever the new DA dude is, whatever. He lets him know basically like, look here, I want to be on the team to help you solve this murder. Or, you know, because we already know that James St. St. Patrick is the one that did it. He basically saying like, look here, I done set a bait with his lawyer let him know that it's still another female witness that's out there. So we already know if they try to come for her, we know for sure it was Ghost or James St. Patrick that did it. And we know we can get this fool for murder. Like, because they was getting ready to fire his ass too. He was like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I can probably help your ass out. And he needed that. Kasha goes over to Terry's office because you know she been calling this fool, going by the house, everything. He ain't answering his phone. So the homegirl at the front desk like, look here, just between me and you, he ain't been showing up at work. They had somebody go by his house. He ain't been at home. They don't know what's going on. And his family just filed a missing persons report. Soon as she said that, Tasha already knew. I knew it was this goddamn nigga ghost that done did this. I already knew it was his ass that did that. Next, Tommy goes and meets with, I want to say it's the Russians. Again, if I'm not right, comment down below and let me know. But he goes and meets with them because he's trying to pick up some more weight, right? He's telling them that he done got his old crew back together. Everybody hungry. Everybody ready to eat. So he needs some weight. He give him a check, right? So the dude is like, okay, well, I'll hook up with you later on tonight. Tommy like, no, no, no. I'm going to go meet with these hood niggas now. Like, I need this weight, like, right now. Now, now, now. He's telling him now, I need to make sure that this check clears. So I'm going to meet with your ass later. He like, all right, cool. What the Russian dude ended up telling his homeboy, he really trying to see what's popping with Ghost and Tommy. Because, see, that Russian dude don't trust Ghost worth a damn. He been wanting to kill Ghost. But Tommy been, he been Ghost saving Grace. So he like, hold on. I'm going to meet with your ass later. Because I think Tommy told him something like the money came from Ghost. So he just want to make sure the check going to clear. Like this fool ain't trying to, you know, get his get his weight and run off with him. No shit like that. Because we already know. Ghost fine as hell, but she can't trust that. Y'all, so Ghost, I'm guessing he's at his club or whatever. Tasha comes over there, and, you know, they talk about the whole situation and everything that happens. Ghost ends up telling Tasha, you know, Angela got killed. She's like, okay. The hell they got to do with me? And he like, look, ain't you going to try to, you know, show me some kind of sympathy? You know what I'm saying? The woman I love got killed right in front of me. She like, look at the woman. What about the man I love? He missing, and I know your monkey ass knows something about that. But of course, he ain't saying nothing about that because we already know that Ghost was the one that killed Terry Silver with his sneaky ass. 
Y'all, so the next morning, um, back at Keisha's house, she cooking breakfast for her son because he up finna get ready to go to school or whatever. He said he wants some little waffles, whatever the hell kids want, whatever the hell my son want every goddamn morning. He getting ready to go on her purse to get some lunch money. She still got the damn gun in there. She like, no, cash, no, 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 no. She goes and gets her purse and pull the bag. He like, all right, damn, mom, I'm trying to get some lunch money. These kids in that mouth. He should have got popped in the goddamn throat, too. She like, look here, boy, you need to watch your goddamn mouth. I'm your mama. I knock your ass out. Ghost go over to Proctor House trying to hem him up about the whole situation with Angela because he was wrong. Angela wasn't the witness. And so Ghost is like, now you done got her killed for no reason when she wasn't even a doggone witness that was going to testify against me. Which, Ghost, they wasn't trying to kill you. They was trying to, Tom was trying to kill your goddamn ass. But Proctor tells him, like, look here. If you know who killed Angela, which I know you do, you need to say something because you are the number one suspect in the death of a district attorney, AUSDA, grade A, whatever the hell she is. You are the number one suspect for that. So he tells her, look here, either you turn Tommy in or you're going to have to go ahead, go down to the police station, finish doing all the questioning that you need to do. Because look here, bro, it's going to look better if you walk down at the police, uh, to that police station with your hands in front of you instead of behind you. Okay? Go let him know. I'm straight G over here. I ain't snitching on nobody. That fool Tommy going to be in a body bag. He ain't gonna be in handcuffs when I'm done with his ass. That's what ghosts say. Y'all, Tommy stressed the hell out. He gonna meet up with the goons to let them know that he met with the Russian dude, his little connect or whatever, and it's gonna be a minute before they can get their product. They can probably get it later on tonight. Poncho, his little, you know, other little dude, little worker, whatever, it's like, damn, dog, you can't do nothing. You ain't shit without ghosts. Why you say that? Tommy hauled out. <coughs> Pops that fool, dead in the forehead. His homeboy getting up, getting ready to jump out. He like, look here, you got two choices. You can go out like him, or you can get a damn uh, promotion, which the, the options is yours, basically. This nigga Tommy stressed out. I'm like, damn, Poncho, why you had to get a Poncho? Y'all, once again, it's so grown-ass Tyreek. He walking down, coming out of a bodega. Tasha rolls up on his ass like, boy, if you don't get your black monk ass in this damn car, what the hell is you doing out here? You supposed to be back at school anyway. He like, Ma, hold on. Give me a couple hours. I need to go meet with Uncle Tommy. Here he go. What the, what, what, what the, boy, if you don't get your ass in this goddamn car, she, he, he like, look, Mama, I promise you, you can literally pick me up from Uncle Tommy's house in one hour. Just give me a damn hour. Damn. She like, boy, you got one hour. No, that's his problem now. Y'all let this boy do what the hell he want to do. No, I done chokehold his ass and took his ass right back to damn school. So later, y'all, Proctor and Ghost ends up going down to the police station. They end up going and, you know, talking with the detectives. Of course, they're asking him all kind of questions because they pulled the phone records. They saw that he called Angela, and an hour or so later after him calling Angela, she's in a hospital fighting for her life. So they're like, why did you call her? Why did you meet up with her? Of course, he's not saying anything because they're asking him, well, if you didn't shoot her, you must have known who shot her. You have an idea of who shot her, who did it. He ain't giving up nothing. He like, look here, I don't know nothing. I don't know what's going on. Um, I didn't see who it was that shot her. whoop de woo So later on, Tommy and Tyreek, y'all, this shit, they on top of a building, right? Tyreek got Kanan's ashes. He wanted Tommy to be with him when he scattered Kanan's ashes, right? He get ready to scatter the ashes. This nigga Tommy put on bones, see you at the crossroads, gets a little bit of Kanan's ashes and put it on the blunt. I'm like, yeah, they did this with Tupac. He's smoking his food ashes on the blunt. Y'all, Tommy's so hood with it, and I love it. I love the hood-ass white boy. Love his ass. So... Tommy tells Tyreek, you know, everything that happened that, you know, he was the one that killed Angela because Ghost tricked him into killing his dad. Tyreek is like, damn, that's messed up. So Tommy asked Tyreek, how would you feel if something happened to your dad? Tyreek is like, I don't know. Tommy's like, okay, well, just so that you know, if anything happens to your dad, my phone line will always be open. Tyreek is like, huh, my phone line will be open too, Uncle Tommy. Tyreek really don't give a damn because, you know, Tyreek, ever since he was with Kanan, he lost a lot of respect for his daddy. And then when his sister got killed and all that, he just lost a lot of damn respect for ghosts. So I'm hoping that this fool, Tyreek, ain't setting up to try to kill ghosts in some kind of way. 
because I just don't trust his ass. Because later on, when um, Tasha comes and picks up, because this is what happened. I'm getting too far ahead. So, right before, you know, they... You know, they scatter time, um, scatter his ashes or whatever. And so they're leaving out the building. Tyreek is going downstairs because, you know, Tasha's getting ready to come pick him up or whatever, right? Ghost is hiding in the cut because he was getting ready to shoot Tommy ass right then and there. But he sees him and Tyreek. They come, they dap up, shake hands, whoop the whoop or whatever. And then, Ty, you know, Tyreek leaves. And then Ghost is sitting looking like, well, what the fuck is going on here? So he put his gun up and he ended up leaving and walking off, whatever. He's like, wait a minute. This shit don't seem right. Like, what the hell is going on with this? This shit don't even seem right. I'm telling y'all, Tyreek, don't do it. Don't do it. So Tasha's taking Tyreek back to school, finally, where his little ass should have been at in the first damn place. And so she tells him, like, he doesn't already know, you know, tells him, like, what happened with Angela being murdered, this, that, and the other. And so... Tyreek is like, I thought she would be happy because if it wasn't for that bitch, then wouldn't nothing be going on with our family in the first place. And Tasha's basically going to look here. If it wasn't for her, your ass would be in jail right now. So you do owe her some kind of damn credit, you know, because if it wasn't for her, nigga, you'd be another goddamn little black boy in goddamn prison if it wasn't for her ass. And so she ends up dropping him off at school. But before she drops him off, she lets him know, look here, when it comes to your daddy and your Uncle Tommy, don't choose a side because it's too damn dangerous. So after she drops him off at school, he ends up um, calling Ghost. Like, they're on the phone talking or whatever. And so he tells Ghost, like, you know, Mom told me what happened with Angela. I'm sorry to hear about that, yada, yada, yada. And so he talks with him and tells him, you know, like, I love you, Dad, whatever. He's playing it cool with him on the phone. As soon as he hangs up, Tyreek's roommate is like, I thought you didn't get along with your dad. And Tyreek is like, I don't, but I got to play it cool for now. See, that's that shit. I don't trust Tyreek. Tyreek, don't do it. Stay out grown phone business. Don't do it. So the new DA pops up on Proctor at his daughter's recital. This nigga borderline stalking. He questioned him, who killed Angela? I know you know something. Don't tell me you don't know nothing because your client is shady as hell. He like, no, I don't know a damn thing about it. So then later on, Tasha's having dinner with her mother. Tasha's telling her mother, look here. I think Ghost might have killed Terry because I don't know where this fool is. So mama like, well, you need to go and turn his old crooked ass in. I told you about that nigga in the first place. Tasha like, nah, hell no. I'm going to deal with this nigga Ghost my damn self. Tasha, now look, you got Tyreek after your ass, Ghost. You got Tommy after your ass. And now you got Tasha. And then you got the Popos after your ass, Ghost. It ain't good for you, bruh. It ain't good for Ghost you. pops up over at pa uh, Aleda. I can't say her name. Paz, Paez. I can't say Aleda. He pops up over there at Angela's sister's house. Because he's sad. He's like, look here, I want to pay for the funeral. I know you don't like me, but I want to pay for the funeral. She's like, look here. I'll be in a dead, in a grave dead before I take a damn penny from you. She don't want nothing to do with Ghost. Later on, she ends up meeting up with Sax. Because she signs off on the autopsy because she want to get goddamn Jamie's ass in prison. She like, oh, no, hell no. I don't trust your goddamn ass. Tasha Steady calling Terry Silver back to back. That fool ain't answering his goddamn phone. Meanwhile, Keisha's sketchy ass on the side of the damn pier somewhere looking around sketchy McSketcher. She throws the gun in the river like, bitch, wow, that, was, that wasn't obvious at all. Like, girl, really? So y'all, Tommy meets up with the little Russian dude or whatever, right? He tells him that the check clear. He's like, all right, cool. You know, can I give him a shit? Can I go? He's like, all right, cool. So Tommy finna dap him up. Russian dude reaches and gives him a hug, like this little awkward ass hug. And Tommy like, ooh, okay, all right, whatever, cool. So he's like, all right, I'm finna have my dude come around and he gonna bring the car around. He gonna take you wherever you gotta go. He gonna follow you all around. He's like, all right, cool. He gonna meet you in the front. So next thing you know, you see ghosts hiding in the cut. This nigga cock lock ready to go. You see Tommy's car come driving by. It looked like Tommy in the car. Ghost come out the cut, start lighting that damn brrr, light the damn car up. Y'all, next thing you know, you see somebody hunched over, blood everywhere. You see this nigga, um, ghost, he goes creeping off like a motherfucking thief in the night. Next thing you know, you see Tommy 
and the Russian dude standing on the side of Tommy car looking in. He like, I don't understand what the hell happened. Well, what happened was when the Russian dude gave Tommy that awkward ass hug, he took his keys from him. He gave his keys to one of his little runners, told a little runner dude to go get Tommy's car and bring Tommy car to the front. He already knew ghost sneaky ass was out there and he was going to come to try to get his ass. So that was the setup. He did that to let Tommy know, look here, that nigga ghost, he ain't right. Don't trust his ass. Don't even do it. Tommy like, nah, man, this has to be, you know, payback from the Vallejos because, you know, I killed Poncho and all that. Like, this can't be. He like, look here. Who else did it? But like I said, Russian dude did that on purpose because he wanted to see if Tommy and Ghost was really still down, if they had each other back. I think that was the setup, too. I know he, he did that on purpose. One, like I said, to see if Tommy and Ghost was really still cool and to see possibly to turn Tommy against Ghost, which he didn't have to do that because Tommy was already against Ghost anyway when he made him kill his daddy. Y'all, so next thing you know, Ghost is in Angela's apartment. He's sad, rummaging, looking all through his shit, whatever. And then before he leaves, he like he like looks at a picture. He's like, I'm sorry, Angie. Back over at um, Keisha's house, Tommy is over there. He shook the shit. He like, I don't know what's what, what like, I can, oh my God. No. He shook as hell. He don't know what the hell going on. He walking through there, taking shots and shit. Keisha like, tell me what happened, what went down. He like, look here. Keisha, I'm just finna let you know it's finna be a war. I really should see you and cash away. I don't want y'all to have nothing to do with this. Keisha, like, on no hair to the now. I'm here. I'm your girl. I'm finna ride with you ten toes down to the wheels fall off. I ain't going nowhere. He let her know it's finna be a war. She like, baby, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going no damn where. Y'all. <laughs> this first episode of Power did not disappoint. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. It was long enough. Please let me know what y'all think about it. If I missed anything, I know I messed up, up a couple of names. Drop it down in the comments and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all next week for another review of Power Baby. Yes. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.